Hello, um, I hope everybody's doing good. Um, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to factory reset a Toshiba uh, running on Windows 10 Toshiba satellite. And this is the Toshiba satellite C55 B5382. All right, can't really see it very good there. It's kind of blurry, but uh, I'm going to show you how to factory reset it back to its factory condition. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, do two methods of the reset. Uh, the first one uh, being if you can log into the laptop. I'm going to show you how to reset it uh, through the settings, which is uh, very easy. And I'm also going to show you how to hard reset it um, if you have a password and you can't get into it. Um, so that you can start using it again. All right, so first off, uh, let me show you how to do the uh, factory reset through the settings. So you're going to go down here to the search bar, and you're going to type in reset. All right, when you type in reset down there, uh, these options are going to come up. You're going to select this one up here, reset this PC. Okay, so here it's going to give you two options. You're going to... Uh, select get started on reset this PC and then here you're gonna wanna select remove everything okay once you select that um, the computer will be reset completely back to its factory condition so make sure that you do back up any uh, files that you want to keep because like I said it's gonna erase completely everything so now I'm gonna show you how to do the um, the factory reset, the other method, which is if you can't get into um, the laptop because it has a password on it. All right, so the computer uh, rebooted. So now we're at the main screen again. All right, so as you can see, it's asking for a password over here. Let's put in the password, see if it works. Password is incorrect. Okay, so um, so if this is the screen you're at, you don't know, uh, you don't have the password to get in. What you're going to do is. You're going to have to hold the shift key. And while you're holding the shift key, uh, you're going to go down here to the power, to the power thing, and then you're going to select restart and continue holding the shift key. All right, so we're going to wait uh, for now. There you go. It takes you to this menu. Okay, so once you're here, you're gonna you're gonna select the one that says troubleshoot. Troubleshoot. Then you're gonna select reset this PC. We're gonna select remove everything. All right, um, so now it's gonna uh, begin the process. It might take us to another uh, screen where we have to select uh, some options. I'm gonna pause it here. All right, so then it's gonna change to this screen. It says getting things ready. All right, here we go. So now it, uh, it asks you to select again. So we're gonna select um, fully clean the drive. That's gonna completely erase everything on the computer back to its factory condition. And then here we're gonna select reset. All right, so it's, uh, it's at 1%. Um, I'm gonna pause it here and continue recording when it's uh, at 100. 
Okay, so now it's uh, resetting at 99%. It's been stuck at 99% for a little while now, probably for like two, two or three hours. Um, so I'm just going to uh, pause recording and then I'll keep recording after it uh, finishes the 99 and gets through the 100% mark. All right, so um, I left it overnight resetting because it was stuck at 99% for way too long. Um, so let's turn it on now. And All right, so now it goes to the installing Windows screen after the reset. Uh, so it's at zero percent. Let's wait till it gets to a hundred percent. All right, so it looks like the installing Windows uh, got to a hundred percent of the processing. Um, once it gets to a hundred percent, it automatically uh, goes to this screen, which is the initial setup of the uh, computer. So this means that the factory reset has been completed. Um, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.